All right, where do we leave off? I think what we're gonna do is uh, day 17. So we got just over two days before Horde. Uh, let's get our equipment ready for uh, NPC rescue. Uh, we'll just make sure all our bags are empty here. I think they are. All right, so we got a little bit of ammo in here now. Uh, we'll take, actually we'll leave that in there for trade. We'll take this stuff out. And we'll grab a shotgun and whatever ammo I have here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take two shotguns with us. That way, if I die, I've got a backup. I should probably bring a backup of everything. Yeah, my medieval armor. We'll just double check for shotgun ammo here. I think I'm going to go through quite a bit of it, so I'll take as much as I can. All right. So we should have plenty of ammo for at least one NPC rescue. And I'll grab a second shotgun in case I die. Turn my lights on here. Like I mentioned before, we won't do this until autumn, which is right after Horde Night. That way it'll be a little cooler. It should cool down enough for uh, me to put that armor on and not have to suffer the consequences of overheating. debating on whether or not to build another furnace maybe I should it's got to be indoors or undercover or else see it won't run when it's raining actually what I'll do is I'll bring a stack of fabric with me too it takes up a lot less room than making a bandage bandages are Really big, take up quite a bit of room, and I can get quite a few bandages out of one of these here. So I'll take a stack of those. Doesn't weigh too much either. Let's have a look at my uh, ammo production there with my 12 gauge. Hey, are we making it in here? We should have been making it here. What am I missing? I'm missing gunpowder, which should be over here. There we go, lots of gunpowder. Yeah, I think that's ready to go. Maybe I'll uh, grab some food here to make sure that we're covered for... Oh, I don't have any food. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I have some somewhere here. May as well put together a uh, solar panel trade bag here also. I think uh, maybe we can get a solar panel traded or uh, go and trade for some solar panels before we um, do Horde Night here. Uh, medicine, I think I still need to learn that. So anything to and above, I still need. Barely. If I can find a level 2 book, I might only have to read it once, and, and I should should pop me up to level 3 there. Oh, and there it is. Must be reading that wrong. Medicine is level 2. It's not level 3. Huh. So we'll grab... Uh, some of the rifles that I have stashed around here too. 
that I have doubles of, like these guys here. Uh, let's see what I got for food in here. Nothing. I should probably build a couple of beehives just to get the honey going. Uh, it does take quite a while to produce, and it wouldn't be the worst idea to have it uh, ready to go. Yeah, let's just have a look at that real quick here. Get rid of my rotten food. There we go. All right. I believe that's outdoor. Mm, maybe not. Furniture? Uh, I don't even know if I've learned it, actually. Let's have a look here. Beehive, three plank, one honeycomb, and one honey. Uh, where am I going to get the honey from? I need egg level four. Three plank and three clay. I wonder if I get it from the bench. I don't remember being able to make honey from there. I think you need... Uh, well, I might be able to. Let's have a look here. I'm just going to look for food while I, while I do that. There we go. And nutrient solution. We need three rotten food. I may as well learn what I can here. Breeding pen. Oh, I need egg level four. I don't have egg level four, I guess. No, I'm only at level three. So I'll have to learn that up before I can make a beehive anyway. So there we go. We got level four egg. And let's have a look at my talents here. Okay, breeding pen has learned three rotten food for that. And that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I need level five for that. I don't have level five. Okay, so we can do this one here. I need a uh, honeycomb, so I might need to build the uh, agricultural bench. I'm not sure where I really want to build that. Maybe I'll just put it out here for now. There we go, egg bench is built, and I don't have anything here for honey. Um, I don't remember where to get honey. I'll have to look it up. Maybe I, I buy it from a trader, I'm not sure. But yeah, here I can make all my seeds and fertilizer and feed and that sort of thing. I have to figure out where to get that honey. Or do I disassemble a beehive for the honey? Yeah, that's how it works. So I wonder if I have a chance of getting one or if I just get one automatically. So I'll dismantle. Uh, use of the knife. There we go. Three plank and one honeycomb. Excellent. Okay. Now I can make a beehive. One honey. Oh, and I, there's no point in making one actually because I need uh, I need more beehives. Or yeah, so I have to cut down a bunch of trees and hope, hopefully I luck into one. Not sure where I want to put it. Put it by the greenhouse here. Oh, there's my cart. So I can't build it anyway. I still need two honey. Oh, look at my energy. I gotta get focused here. Sticks and logs. Actually, I'll take some of those logs and make some more planks while I'm out. And what else? Uh, I think we're good to go with the exception of food. I'm really sure I had food in one of these. You know what wouldn't be a bad idea is looking up some recipes online for uh, cooking uh, because... The NPCs are bringing in a lot of food now. I love just being able to walk up here and drink water. That's great. I can just save my bottles for when I head out. Let's see what I have for food in here.
I think I'm out of food. I don't see any food anywhere. I'm so sure I had three or four cans of food left, but I guess not. I can make some pretty basic food here, I think. I don't have any recipes, but I'm sure I can uh, come up with something here. Let's see if that gives me something. Broth. Okay, well, that isn't, it's not great, but it's, ter you know, it's something. So when I do Horde Night, I'll have to uh, raid the ship for more food before day 20 there, before the reset. Um, I think I can get broth just from water and uh, uh, just the meat there. Yeah, that's, it works in a pinch, I guess. Um, I need some sort of... I wonder if I can get a little... What are we missing here? Carbs. Yeah, I wonder if uh, mixing corn with water will give me more of a carb-heavy uh, meal. Yeah, vegetable soup. So there we go. 15 carb, 15 thirst. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, this works out pretty good. Actually, if I have... Um, I don't necessarily need to use my clean water and, and go through my filters. I can go ahead and use dirty water to cook with. And uh, that'll work just fine. Whoops. Hey, Mike. So I'll make a couple more of these, and this should pretty much fill me up. I mean, that's pretty good. Plus, I have full fatigue uh, recovery here. And we're on day 18. We're almost at the end of day 18, though. So I'm kind of running short on time. I really want to get the trade done for some more panels before I go do Horde Night. Uh, what am I at? 66. I'm not sure if a tomato and water will give me vegetable soup. Large stew. Look at that. Tomato and water. And it gives me a buff. Uh, 15, 15. 15 mood. Really? So tomatoes and water will give me a buff. That's really good. A little bit of fatigue recovery, but the mood recovery is interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and cook up that other tomato there before it goes bad. That's a pretty decent return. Yeah, I like that. I don't think I'm going to be uh, uh, letting the vegetables go, you know, to rot in the storehouse anymore. I think I'm just going to be pulling them out of here because that's a really good return tomato and um, water. Uh, the mood is a big one, especially, you know, if I had known that right from the beginning, I would have uh, used it for my books for learning. I guess I don't really need to cook that. I'll fill it up right here. Wow, we are running way low on energy. I don't feel like I'm producing enough to keep those lights on. I should be. My math, if my math is right, oh, and I'm leaving them on during the day too, that doesn't help. So what we'll do is, I think I have a couple of these hooked up to the lights, and... Yeah, that one's hooked up to the light, so I'm going to go ahead and dump some fuel into there and let it run. You know what would be better, actually, is a thermal generator that I can just throw charcoal into, because i got so much charcoal. And I'll put one up here. Take uh, snapping off, because it's bouncing around everywhere. Maybe I'll build two. Yeah, that'll be a really cheap way to... Uh, charge these batteries here so oh i don't think i have that wire do i dang it no i don't yeah i don't have the wire it will dump some fuel into that one generator and get it running Oh, I'm going to be short one toolbox also. All right. So electrical wire and toolbox. I can make them, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait until I can get to the... Uh, do another raid on the industrial facility or whatever. Lots of ammo. I have one wire there.
All right. Let's uh, fill this guy up one more time. I think I have everything. I don't need any food or anything. I should be good to go right to Horde Knight. So we're going to run out to the trader here and get a couple more panels. Uh, just double check, make sure I have all my bags. Got tons of ammo. So what we'll do is we'll hit the trader. We'll pick up two or three more panels and we will uh, do Horde Knight. And then after Horde Knight, we'll run to a NPC base and try to... Um, Rescue another NPC or a bandit camp. You know, come to think of it, I should have grabbed these panels after Horde Night because I got to come back out here anyway to pick up uh, or to go to that bandit camp for the NPC. Oh well. So we got a two and a 50. She didn't spawn a three. That's too bad. And there's nothing else there I really want. a good deal and now we're done here go ahead and put all this stuff I'm gonna keep those med kits on me uh for you know until we're done rescuing the npc in case i need them i don't want to go looking for them uh we'll put those away we'll get everything back into the vehicle here and we'll run out to the ship pick up some food and uh take care of horde night we should be good to go to get the npc now we are right now we're right here on the map and i believe the other npc bandit camp is somewhere i think it's in here this little area right here you'll have to double check the map but i'm pretty sure that's where it is it's somewhere in here but let's get to the ship where what are we on let me just double check the date here 19 yeah so i got it at least i got a little bit of time to get it prepared this time because uh i haven't in the past and uh like the last horde raid was terrible i only got half my things turned on and put together and even though it was over pretty quick and i didn't really run into too many issues um i still uh i still don't like that feeling of being so rushed to get it done Uh, it looks like I'm pretty close to ready here. The main thing is to turn everything on. Maybe I'll uh, come up with a different design here. Because they did make it through last time. I think they piled through here. So what I need to do is, I don't know. I guess they try to path whatever way they can through. Uh, this really helped though. I know a crawler made it up here and then got kind of caught up in this area here. So that's great. And uh, yeah, we'll get that generator turned on. And we'll see about some food here. See if we can get some food. I can't remember how much of this I've actually looted since the last horde. Uh, I'm just going to check these boxes real quick here. If there's nothing in these, then I'm pretty sure I've gone through this level and level two also. There's a pot there. I, I would have left that behind. Yeah, there's nothing here. So I think I got to go up to level three to get some loot. I'll just double check real quick. A couple boxes. Yeah, I've been here. Okay. I hope I haven't looted out the whole ship. I may have. If I have, then I'm out of food. I'll just have to wait until uh, after Horde here to loot this place again. Oh yeah, this is good. So some of this is pretty close to expiry because it's been sitting here like for the last 10 days, right? So I'll we'll actually keep this pick. I'm, I'm not in dire need of steel bars anymore, so we'll take advantage of these tools. This is actually my favorite food because it covers carbs and protein and you don't have to cook it. It's great.
a little more food than I expected. Uh, I'll probably have to empty out here and then come back. Yeah, there's quite a bit of food up top here. I'm not used to this much being up here. There's a lot of stuff up here. Wow, I'm already full again. So I'm gonna, I may as well dismantle these. I don't have room for them. I don't want to run all the way back up for one or two more crates. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. This ship is looted. So I'll empty out my pack and uh, look at rearranging some of this stuff here. I mean, it, it didn't work out too bad last time at all, but um, maybe we can make it work a little better. I'm pretty sure I set my respawn point, but I'm gonna do it again. Oh, and you know what? I should save my game. I don't want to have to do the last 10 minutes over. So we can get rid of these guys. And we'll put the sledgehammer back. Crowbar is busted. I have a spare knife there. I'll put that in there. Okay, what time is it? It is 10.21. We are really early. Uh, I'm going to walk around here real quick and look for damaged walls and, or anything damaged that I might be able to repair. See, there's, they're still avoiding the walls. So when they come in from the sides, they'll hit the wall and then path this way. And I think the reason why they all came through here last time was because it was the only open path, right? Yeah, and they only damaged that one, and I think that's because they were all trying to pile through at the same time. So if we... how do we do this? Hmm. One log. I mean, we can go with this again. It did work. I think having them a little spread out there will work a little better because uh, the zombies will try to, you know, path through them. And uh, if there's room to move in between them, then, you know, if they pile up, they'll they'll get cut, right? Because there will be zombies off to either side. And uh, if that's the case, then I should be able to, to hurt them a little more. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
And then we'll just set up some spikes on either side here. So so they're con so I'm pathing them towards the uh, the traps here. Like so. Is that going to work? I think that'll work. As long as they have a way to get through. So if they come in through here. Yeah, I think this will work. And if it doesn't, whatever. I'll I'll see if I can figure it out later. But I still have to be able to access in and out of here and to be able to turn on all these uh these cutters here. So yeah, we'll leave this open here. Yeah, I think this will work. It looks pretty good. I think I think. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, okay. I think that'll be it for the spike traps. Maybe actually what we'll do is so we can uh, keep them away from my fire. I'll move this one over. And I'll put a little space between these two. Yeah. I think I can still get through here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I think that'll work. So everything's a little more spread out, not so tight. Uh, hopefully they'll try to path through the traps here instead of around. Uh, what time is it? 14 already? Wow, look at that. That went by really quick. Okay, so what we'll do is look at my energy here. Maybe I'll sleep for an hour or two just to bring that up. I'm so paranoid about sleeping because I've had a bug out on me and it's gone way longer than an hour or two. And... Uh, I've been unable to get out of that that cycle that it throws me into. Okay, we'll try it here. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Of course, there's a sandstorm. Hopefully, it doesn't start raining again. I wouldn't mind the light here. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to work out really well. I think this will work. So gloomy. I'm just going to go cut a tree or two down. Grab a couple extra logs here for the fire. I'd be interested in uh, setting up one of those flamethrower traps just to see how it works. Because I've never used one. I've never seen one in use. I, I'd like to know how effective they are. And because I think it would be cool. We're getting close now. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on the time here and uh, probably start turning some of these traps on. They do take a few. It might take a couple of minutes to get them all turned on. I should check my battery table just to see if uh, it's been damaged at all. I don't think it has. And my fire went out. Of course it starts raining. Uh, so annoying. No, it hasn't been damaged. We got, we're like right full. So I can go ahead and turn everything on. Oh, I'm stuck. Dang it, stupid thing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn everything on. All right, everything should be ready to go. And we're just a couple seconds away here. Probably about half a minute. Oh, wait a minute. It's day 19. It's not day 20. Wow. I still have another day to go. It's not even Horde night. <laughs> well, at least I got everything ready. Way ahead of time. Okay, let's turn everything back off. We'll just call it a test run. Not sure how in my head I lost a whole day. So maybe what I'll do is I'll run home and unload everything.
Can I get through, or did I screw that up? Yeah, okay, well, we're good. We're good. I mean, it's it looks like it's going to be working just fine. I have a whole day to go here, so I'm going to run home and uh, get my stuff unloaded. Some more ammo. I've got so much, so much ammo now. That's great. See how much of a charge my batteries took here from that generator. Uh, not too bad. I don't really need the lights on. It's pretty bright out, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I like how that looks. <laughs> it's so cool. Let's see what they see what Mike brought in here. So I think I'm going to change his um production preference for mining back to botanical because i'm getting quite a bit of free food out of that now that i can just cook up you know cook it with water more or less it was like it's such an inexpensive way to get food so i'm gonna get him to uh stock me up with more food oh he's, he brought food anyway i've got some strawberries here maybe i can go and try to make that cider he's still bringing quite a bit of like it's it's very uh it's such a mix right I think I can make a cider here. I don't know how many strawberries I need. Do I need nine? That's crazy. Yeah, I'll never get nine strawberries before those rot out. That's terrible. Carrots. Mmm. That's a lot of vegetable broth here. Yeah, he's uh this is gonna be a great source of food. Food doesn't last very long. I know if I cook food, I think I can whoops, those shouldn't be going in there. I think I can um can them. I can make a canning uh something or other. It's a lot of planks. I gotta make some room here. Yeah, so one carrot is going to give me 15 carbs and 15 thirst. That's not a bad trade-off. Uh, the tomato is the best so far that I've seen, which gives 15 carbs and 15 mood plus 5 fatigue plus a stamina boost for a while. Not sure what to do with the fruit. I don't think I can cook them. Um... I really should be looking at recipes here. I'm pretty sure that's going to end up being a failed recipe, but I, I don't care. I don't have enough to do anything with. Oh, what? That's really cool. Large fruit stew and two water. Do I get the same thing? That's great if I do. No, just fruit soup. So if I combine two different fruit together, I get something pretty cool out of it. This is, doesn't give me much at all. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Plus five fatigue recovery. That's all right. We'll see if we can save that for the uh, NPC rescue. And what if I do chicken and egg and water? Just broth. What if I do chicken, carrots, and water? Broth. You think that would give me a stew of some sort? What if I do a carrot? And an orange. 
and water. Hey, that gave me a large fruit stew too. So one fruit, one vegetable, and uh, one water. That's a pretty good trade-off. I like that. Okay, I'll remember that. So I'll save the, I guess I'll save the carrots. I don't really need them. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, well, I learned something new. All right, so I'm going to have a look here at the canning... Uh, what do they call it here? Do I have it? No, probably not. Probably have to learn it. I'm not even sure if my cooking skill is high enough. What is it at here? Uh, we're almost at five, so we're at four now. Let me just find it. There we go. Canning machine, one steel ingot. I don't need cooking to learn it at all. I have uh, all the skills that I need to learn at the engineering, electrical, and mechanics. So that works. Okay, so we'll find a steel ingot here and go ahead and learn that. Maybe we'll build it and see if, what we can do about canning food and then maybe building a refrigerator too so that we can, uh, uh, what am I looking for, steel? So that we don't lose, uh, so things don't expire as quick is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's get that built. Shower room, that's really cool. All right, there we are. I think that's the front there. I gotta take snapping off because it's uh, it's not wanting to sit properly. Okay, um, maybe up against this wall here, sure. What do we need? We need quite a bit of stuff here. Um, more wire, I don't have any wire, so, uh, or toolboxes. So this is gonna have to wait too, wow. I thought I had more steel ingots in that. Okay, we're going to stop this and we're going to make some steel. Oh, I don't do that here. Never mind. Iron is the big one, right? Okay. I wonder how my batteries are looking over here. Whoa, they're getting pretty close to empty too. Probably turn my lights off. Now I need the steel. I didn't need it before, but now I really need it. I guess I'm just going to have to hold off on that stuff for now. And uh, another thing I wanted to do was a refrigerator over here. So we're going to need to learn cooking station first. And that takes two electrical wire. I don't have that. And that takes electrical wire. Yeah, I'm just going to have to wait till after horde night. So I get a respawn and, and uh, we can go ahead and do another raid on the industrial facility here. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So we'll get over to the ship and maybe grab an hour or two of sleep to get my fatigue right up and... Uh, and then we'll do Horde Night, and then we'll run out and rescue an NPC, another NPC. So I'm going to go ahead and save before I sleep in case the sleep bugs out. And right now we're at, well, 1,500. Well, at least it stopped raining. I can light these fires again. Uh, I don't have anything with me. Maybe I'll just go cut a tree or two down. Hopefully the rain stays away for Horde Night here. Alright, fire's going. We'll turn everything on. I know I've got plenty of power. Lots of juice in the batteries. Whoa, hello. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, okay, I think we're ready. And we're pretty close now. I'll just go ahead and lay down and pick up a few fatigue points here. Or energy. While I wait out the clock.
Oh, they're coming in from the left. Nice. <laughs> they're just getting shredded. That's excellent. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, they're some more over to the right there. That was awesome. They totally got shredded. Oh no! Uh, did I just jump on my trap? Why didn't I die? Did I jump in between my traps? Holy crap! That was a really fluky... Uh, that was total luck there. I didn't die. Oh my god, I just about died. I got so excited about how well the traps worked here. And I just about killed myself. I must have jumped right in between the two. That was great. Alright, let's uh let's get you turned off. That was awesome. That was excellent. Like that was set up so perfect. That worked out really well. I can't believe I jumped between my traps. I should have been dead. Alright. Yeah, these work so good. They work so good. They just totally shredded everything in here. This the path was open right here, and uh, they just got shredded. I should almost try to get two in here. That was great. I was so impressed with that. That works so well. I can't get over how good that worked. They just all piled in through here and just got caught up in here. And Totally shredded. Can't wait to rewatch that. Watch the video over. See how much damage they did here. Well, they did quite a bit. That's weird that they came in from both sides, so I'm not used to that. Uh, I'm only I've only ever seen them come from one side at a time, so they must be getting a little harder as time goes on. I didn't see any really bad uh, zombies there. Just regular bullet zombies, shooters or spitters and uh, cops. I didn't see, you know, a big fellow or a crawler or anything like that. I can't believe I jumped up my traps and I, I didn't get killed. That's so awesome. That is so unusual for me. All right, that is uh, another Horde Knight done. And now Let's try our luck with the bandits. Hopefully that doesn't turn out too bad. We'll try to get there before morning. But we are on day 20. Everything should have uh, respawned. We're in autumn now. So you see the temperatures drop quite a bit. Not a lot, but 21 degrees as opposed to like 37 or 36 at night. That's a pretty big difference. So I should be able to wear that armor. Just, I'm not too sure how close to get here. So I'm going to have to be really careful. I'm going to build a bed. I think I'll make a bed right here, just for now. Oh, what is that, a zombie? Yeah, so... I'm not sure about bandits then, because I've never seen the two together. Like a respawn point here. The sun should be coming up right away here too. Oh, there it is see what we can do uh a little nervous because the last time i had done this i i got hurt pretty bad i got killed so many times it's terrible anyway hopefully it doesn't get too hot i should be able to wear this armor though i'm pretty confident that i can and we'll keep one shotgun in the vehicle that way i've got a spare i got tons of ammo on me i should be okay there it is okay so we can repair at least one item Let's just have a look here. Yeah, I don't want to lose this stuff. So we'll go ahead and, uh, or can I? Is my tailoring high enough? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's repaired. Okay, daylight's burning. I should probably get in there and uh, try to survive. I'm going to save my game just in case I crash. And no, I do not save scum this game. I, I take my deaths and I deal with them. <laughs> it looks so badass. I love it. Man, this thing loads so slow. This is going to be... Uh... It's funny, I got that little shoulder light sticking out of steel armor here, metal armor. I was really surprised to see that zombie uh, pop out with the bandit camp right there. 
So there might be zombies on one side and Bennett's on the other. How do I want to do this? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to die. There isn't a lot of cover here. Oh, there's a dude up in the, right up in the tower there. I got to find a way to, you know, attract their attention and then run. Whoa, here we go. That made me jump. You saw the sh camera shake. All right, buddy. I'm like stun locked. I can't do anything. Fire. They just got me locked up. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. That's really freaking annoying. I am not happy with that. That's really upsetting. I'm completely locked up. We gotta figure out where my corpse is here. I think I ran past this tree. I am not happy with that. I'm really upset with the way that turned out. Normally, I, you know, deaths don't bother me, but I felt like I was totally cheated that time. I just got totally mobbed. Come on. Yeah, I was totally locked up. I couldn't do a thing. Not happy with that. At least I get full health and full stats. I can just keep going back in and I just have to whittle them down, basically. We'll just try to get them. There we go. Oh, I should probably should keep them away from my car. Like, what? Is, what is he hitting me with? It's, it's like super rapid fire. I don't know what weapon that guy has, but it's really messing me up. Like, I, I, he, I don't get a chance to fire. It totally locks me up. I can't, I can't do anything. I'm just, I'm locked up. Like, I hit the trigger and it just doesn't do anything. I think I just need something that fires way faster. I think the shotgun's just too slow. Maybe the shotgun's good just to clean up the area, but, like, we're... Oh, where's my pants? Oh, no! They're destroyed. No! Dang it. I lost half my armor forever. All right, let's get my other rifle. I got to get rid of that guy with that. Whatever weapon he's using is is messing me up so bad. This is not going well. Yeah, my armor's gone. I didn't even consider that. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to look for more ammo. So I'm pretty sure I have some more. Yeah, I got lots of ammo. I'm not sure if it'll be enough, but. That guy right there really messes me up. Let's get out of here. I got a few good hits on him. We'll see if uh, see if I can get back up there and, and kill him off. There's one down. I got rid of one of them for sure. Hopefully, uh, oh, look at that. He had a spike club on him. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can use that. Nope. All right. Okay, we're good. There's another guy right there, isn't there? Okay, that's two down. Yeah, I think I gotta save the shotgun for when I go in to clear them out. Just gotta be careful here. I don't want that guy locking me in again. I don't see him there, so I might have killed... Well, no, I think I do see him. Somebody running around there.
Gotta get out of here. I can't afford to lose the rest of my armor. The armor sure did hold up really well, though. Where are you? Another one. And another one. Oh yeah, this is a really tense situation for me, but I'm I'm actually doing a lot better with this rifle than I am with the other one with the shotgun. Oh I got look at that. I got three of them here. That's excellent. Okay. So uh we're still good on ammo, barely. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I've uh I've managed to take that many out. Yeah, there's one more guy up in the tower there. Not sure if I'm hitting him. I think there's uh, something in the way there. I think I'm hitting him. It's like the fence is in my way or something. There we go. I don't see any others running out, so maybe that's it. Holy crap, I think I did it. I'm not sure if I should go in there uh, without my shotgun, though. Yeah, holy crap, I think I did it. Right on. My armor took such a beating. Let's go get my uh, shotgun. I think I'm going to need my shotgun. Those guys are tough. And they I swear they cheat. I'm just going to save it. I don't want to have to do that again. Hopefully they're all dead. But that was pretty intense. Those guys, I don't know what that one guy was firing at me. It must have been the AK. But he just unlocked me. I couldn't do anything. I think I got them all. I don't see anybody here. <laughs> there's a there's the NPC. I'm so happy right now. All right, let's go. Let's just stay on mission here. Okay. Oh, it's a lady. I think. Yep. Okay. Let's let's beat this door down. Well, this one's breaking a lot easier than the other doors in the game. Maybe they adjusted it. Yeah, that went down really fast. Okay, I don't want to shoot you. You look a little banged up, but... Thank you. There you go. Go ahead and head back to the base and introduce yourself to Mike. You guys look like you might get along. All right. Yeah, I won't, I won't bug you. Okay, let's see what kind of loot we have here. I'm so happy right now. It turned from a total crap show to, uh, man, do I ever need new shoes. Yeah, I lost my shoes too in that battle. They shot my shoes off my feet. That's why I was running slower. I couldn't figure out why I was running slower. That's awesome. I think I got a spare at home, but anyway, I don't need any of this stuff. I'm still kind of uh, still kind of thinking over what just happened there. Oh, there is a bandit. Look at him. Where did he come from? I can't die in here. Yeah, I cut you in half. Where the hell did you come from, though? Look at his. Look at him. He is just ground beef. I thought I got him all. Wow, that was uh, that could have turned out really bad. If I hadn't noticed him through the window, it could have. This could have turned out really bad. Oh, look at all the medical supplies. I don't need it. I'm not gonna take the band aids. They're kind of a waste. Yeah, shotgun close combat, definitely not ranged. Uh, maybe I'll take this stuff here. 
I don't really need any of this stuff. I'll take the car repair kit and I can probably use it right away here. Just got to figure out how to get enough room set up here. There we go. All right, let's finish searching this place out. Advanced parts I will take. Actually, I'll take the small fuel bottles too. I may as well throw them into my car and bring my car up here. I like the layout of these bases. This is really cool. This is what I'd like to build at home, but I'm just not that talented. Uh, where am I? I think I'm down there. All right, let's get in there and get this place looted out. Actually, I should try to get rid of this armor because it's heavy. All right. So I've got two NPCs go to work for me now, I, I guess. I mean, it's not really work, I guess, if you're more like room and board, I suppose. Uh, and I'll equip her with a shotgun. And maybe next video we'll go for uh, a third NPC and uh, see if we can... Um, you know, get even closer to having Horde attack our base, or at least get closer to to, to uh, defending it. There we go. Some clothing. I'll take that. I'll leave the rest of this stuff here. I may as well grab the food. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it all before it rots out, but I may as well take it. Uh, generator, I don't really need it. I wonder if blueprints are actually worth anything at the trader. Maybe I'll go back and grab the other ones there and uh, see if they're worth anything. Holy cow, look at all the steel. Oh no, it's all iron. Well, there's another sledgehammer. I'll take that. Actually, I'll take both of them. That way I've got two spares. I'll just break these other guys down real quick. Did I get steel for that? I thought these were all uh, iron. Oh, so it's a mix. I'm not used to seeing a mix. I'm used to seeing other iron or steel tools. I think my light just went out. I think I just lost power. But, oh, it got damaged too. But uh, I do have batteries with me, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm going to take that. really want to see if I can get... I want to see if those are worth anything. If they're actually worth a lot, that'd be great. Yeah, let's go empty out here. Man, I got really messed up. Like, those guys just locked me right up. There's absolutely nothing I can do. It was so annoying. That was actually the first time uh, I've been truly upset with the game. I felt that was, uh, I don't know. It just, it felt like they were cheating, I guess. I suppose in real life, I would just be dead, but I just got locked up. I felt bugged out, is, is how it felt. Even the crash, like even when I crashed, it wasn't a big deal. You know, I just recovered by restarting the game and that was it. But that, that was just, it just seemed like such a rip off. You put in all the work and preparation to uh, make something happen up here, you know, rescue an NPC and, and you just get, you basically, you get stun locked. There's nothing you can do. This is a very small camp compared to the last one. I just feel like I've already gone through the whole thing. I want to take those plans with me, though, if I can figure out where they are. That police helmet looks really cool. It just, it doesn't offer as much protection as the, uh, the whatchamacallit there, the uh, medieval armor. But uh, you know what? Maybe I'll take it as a spare, seeing as I now know that I can, or I should have always known that I could lose armor, but I now really know that uh, it's probably going to happen. Okay, we're out of here. All right, we got two NPCs now. Just go and turn the lights on and see if they're getting along. All right, let's get some lights on and turn on my furnace. Oh yeah, there's two of them walking around now. That's kind of cool. Wow. She she is buff. Like, seriously. 100% a zombie killer. Mike, on the other hand. I don't know. 
So you know what? Why don't we go grab a shotgun and throw it in her inventory? Yeah, <laughs> I'm building my own little militia, my little army, Sasha and Mike. Wow, look at all the food. That's from two of them, I guess. That is a lot of food now. Maybe I'll put it back on average for now. I don't know why you're hanging out back here. There's nothing back here. Man, do you ever look buff? Kind of scary. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, you look pretty badass. Can't wait to see you in a fight. Yeah, there she is, Sasha. Awesome. This was a good session. Really good session. We got lots done. I learned about armor durability, like the hard way. Uh, Bennett camps, I learned about. The shotgun idea isn't the best idea unless I'm cleaning up a camp. So now I've got way too much shotgun ammo. And we'll get a 300 watt panel swap in here. That's a 50. Yeah, this place is looking pretty cool. It's It actually does look, when I take a step back and, and kind of have a look at all the work that I put into this place, it's, it's pretty neat. There's quite a bit. There's a lot going on here. Like, there's a lot of hours put into this place. Especially stone. My goodness, the amount of rocks that I beat up. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're we're done for this video. I hope these two will get along. I hope they don't both uh, attack my car and get pissed off at it. They're not very friendly. Man, she ever looked mean. This reminds me of, like, an old 80s movie like a Schwarzenegger or Chuck Norris movie from the 80s that's what it reminds me of it's kind of what I got going on here this is like a movie set that's awesome all right guys see you in the next one